Guest Chef is sponsored by Acorn Grill. It is time to once again share a great recipe on this Wednesday with Acorn Grill. Blair Steele is here wrapping uh, us into the Charlie's Angels group. Yes. I had someone actually stop me and say, oh, you guys kind of are like Charlie's Angels. There's three of you. I said, well, as long as I get to be fair, I like it's good. Um, you today are baking up one of your homemade pies? Yes, the sugar cream pie. It's one of our best sellers. I mean, this is like a kind of a seasonal thing. You can go all around. You say, I'm sorry with this pie. I'm excited. Yes. Do you like sugar cream pie? Because it's one of my favorites. Actually, I've never had it. Come on. No, I kid you not. This is like my first time not only Blair, making a pie, today, but actually to tasting it. So I'm really excited. Oh, good. Well, so when you make a good sugar cream pie, what's the most important thing, you think? I mean, like, is it the crust or is it, it the filling? Well, they both. You huh? have to have a good crust and a good filling to make a good sugar cream pie. Mm. Really? Well, let's get started. What, what, what do I do first? Well, you start out, obviously, you want to make your crust first. <laughs> okay, now, I saw this on a baking show. They go like this. Yes. And well, then, you don't want the dough to stick to where you're rolling it. I just, want, I just, you just saw wanted it. to do that. I did, and then they go like that yeah, too, you have right? To make sure it doesn't stick to the rolling okay. pan as well. So you're doing great so okay. far. So I, I learned things today. This is a pre-made dough, yeah. correct? Now, is this a easy dough that can go with any type of pie? Like this is like. The main. It's, yes, it's just a traditional pie crust. Okay, now how does one really roll this out? Because the professionals make it look great. Is this? You're doing great. Yeah, you just want to <laughs> roll it out. You got to press firmly oh. to get it to roll flatten out. Good. This is why bakers are calm because they're getting all their aggression out while you rolling out. You want to make sure that it's not too thin to where it tears oh. apart. Now, are you supposed to be turning this? Yes. Okay. Now, I have a question because I feel like a good flaky pie crust is better than like, you know what I mean? Like it really mm. needs to be a good, so is, is there an ingredient that makes it That's better? That's a good question. I mean, what's the, what's the, what's the important ingredient? Is it the shortening? The is shortening. It, is, I think yes. so. Yeah, you have one third cup and one tablespoon shortening, a yeah. cup of all-purpose flour. Now, many yeah. people are watching this at home. What happens? if you accidentally rolled it too thin and then there's a crack because... Well, then you just have to put it together and re-roll it. <laughs> <laughs> All yes, right, Hazel. So we've got the crust. Okay. You're going to work on getting that in there. Yes, but yes, the yes. filling is, to me, magical. Magical. Sometimes I find myself just scooping it out and, and eating it we out of eat, the bowl. We eat it out of the bowl every time. And of you course, can do like that? It, uh, well, after you're finished. Oh. Course, it's good stuff. Oh, my gosh. You're so excited. So what I'm are the sure ingredients that make good sugar cream pie? We start out with two cups heavy whipping cream. Okay. And then you have half a cup of milk. Okay. That's not working. I feel like he heavy whipping cream is a requirement for anything yummy. Of course, yummy. It's what they and butter. It makes it delicious. <laughs> yeah. And there's actually no butter in this recipe. Really? Nope. 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 And then you have half a cup of flour, brown sugar, and regular granulated sugar. Now, I notice on the recipe you're calling for whole milk. Is that critical? That yeah. Okay. All right. Good to know. Lots of fat. No <laughs> substitutions here, people. These keto people can eat this, right? Exactly. Yeah. We have a lot of those. And then one teaspoon of vanilla, and okay. that's for the filling. The ground cinnamon, we usually dust on top of it, but a little inside the filling actually makes it for a better flavor as well. What's the consistency need to be on the filling here when you're whipping this together? It should be half partially thick. The whipping cream will help thicken it up as you mix it together. Um, now, once we, we have it together and we pour it into the crust, um, <laughs> we're not pouring it into your crust, we're pouring it into this crust. You're doing crust. a great job. <laughs> but you did. Like, how, uh, how long do you bake the pie? Because also, I feel like the top, getting it that nice golden brown is another mm. key. It, you bake it for about an hour at 350. You want to make sure that the filling is set. Mm -hmm. and that the center is firm. Now, what's so, your secret to making sure that the crust doesn't burn on top? You butter a little bit. Butter around it around. Mm -hmm. Now, can you tent it, tent it with a, a foil or? You can, but yeah. it'll stick to it, so. Uh, so, are all your pies homemade? All of them are homemade, yes. I love that. What, uh, what are your pies that you offer at the restaurant? We have peanut butter pie, sugar cream pie, and a s'mores brownie that we do regularly. And then every once in a while we mix it up and make something new. Like last week we were serving a lemon cake. Oh. So, with desserts, a homemade icing. Desserts are the best part of any meal. Sure are. That's why we should eat them first. Exactly. <laughs> and everyone should eat an Acorn Grill. So if you haven't yet, make sure that you make plans to visit the Acorn Grill. They are located in Sullivan.
and we obviously go there frequently. So yes. you might see us. If you see us, feel free to say, hey, go ahead and buy Julie and Hazel Marie a piece of pie. Yeah, pie on me. <laughs> it is the Acorn Grill, and it is our wonderful Wednesday with our friend Blair. Stay with us when we come back. Plenty more to come on Good Day Live.